Alright, here we are with uh, day five on the B9 robot. Um, I've pretty much spent the whole day working on electronics and I've kind of getting nowhere. Um, I had an idea in my head and I uh, planned it out and it worked on the uh, virtual breadboard, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, yeah, I've got all my components and I've put everything together, which is what you see here. Uh, basically, this is a, an AVR chip programmed by Arduino, and I've got three uh, shift registers, which I've basically programmed it so it, uh, it, it gets a, a random random LED flickering for a random amount of time, basically. Um, so that's supposed to be the top and the bottom uh, lights for the front panel. And it's also, <clears throat> however, once I apply power, well, in this case, we're getting nothing. Let's try this. Okay, wants to make a fool of me today. Oh, anyway, uh, all it's doing is just <laughs> lighting up a random LED, and it's not flickering. It's not doing anything. So, I'm not too sure what's going on, so I'm gonna to have to think about it and probably leave it for today and maybe look at it with some fresh eyes. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys the over to the computer here. Uh, the software that I use it's it's an online software. It's called uh, One Two Three D Circuits. It's uh, by Autodesk, and it's free to sign up. Uh, they've got some other apps on there too, but this is basically the one that I use. Uh, you can do like virtual breadboards with all the components and stuff, and you just work out your wiring and where things are going to go and, and test them out. Um, well, for example, this, I mean, this is probably going to mean nothing to a lot of you guys, but just to show you what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it has a the code editor, which is where you put down all your code for the for the Arduino. Um, and if I start the simulation, you should be able to see what my idea was. So there's lights on the right, as supposed to be the front panel, so you just get like a random twinkling effect. And there's four LEDs on the left hand side, as supposed to be what the, the LEDs that go into the into the head unit. Um, yeah, so like I said, that was the idea, but turning it from the virtual breadboard into the reality, it's, uh, something's not working, so I don't know if I've wired up something wrong, or I've double, double, triple checked all the wiring, it looks fine, there could be a short circuit somewhere, I'm not sure, there's a lot of wires there, so anything could have gone wrong. Um, so yeah, that's basically it with that, and, uh, yeah, I'll have to do some more work and see if I can figure it out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move on to something else and leave it for a bit. But that's it for today's uh, video. Catch you on the next one. Alright, uh, day six on the B9 robot. I've uh, got a lot of painting done today. Uh, pretty much everything is like a flat aluminium colour. So I just got everything that's that was that colour and... Uh, Primed it all up, gave it a base coat of black, and then uh, shot it with uh, this silver I've got here, which is a fine silver. It's an automotive fine silver that I've mixed up, and reduced for the airbrush, um, which is very close to the Tamiya flat aluminium. Uh, it's just that, you know. I would probably use a couple of bottles, I reckon, if I try to do it with that. But anyway, so yeah, most of it was done with that. Um, the hand pieces here. <coughs> let's bring the light over a little bit. Um, 
well, this was just Tamiya Tamiya gloss red, and the the darker grey was the uh, metallic grey, except 56. Apart from that, uh, it was all uh, flat coated just to knock down the shine, even though it's still shiny, but. I think that's fine. Um, the soil sampler I gloss coated because that's what it says it has to be. I don't know. Probably not even going to use it, but it's there if he wants to use it. Um, all the vinyl, Lancôme and vinyl pieces, I just gave him a flat coat um, because well, I like the color the way it was. It just it was too shiny and like I mentioned before, there's no need to paint it. And if you did paint it, it would probably crack because it's flexible. So I'm hoping that the uh, the clear coat, I mean, the clear coat could still crack too, but even if it does, it won't be as noticeable. And it kind of adds a bit of rigidity to it. Uh, just for argument's sake, that's the matte coat that I use. It's Alclad 2 lacquer. <coughs> Uh, which I actually think it is a lacquer. The Alclad 2 lacquer is just a brand name, but I actually think this is, a, is lacquer based. Um, <clears throat> got to give it a good shake. It's very similar. I can see to the dest testers <laughs> to the testers dull coat, uh, which you can get in the can or even in the bottle. Whatever looks the same color. Uh, probably works exactly the same. I've never actually used the doll coat from testers, so I can't get it here. But from what I have seen others use, it looks exactly the same. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, not a lot to show. It was a pretty big day, and yeah, there's a lot of painting going on. But uh, there's one thing that's missing that you may notice: is the stupid legs. Drive me insane. I understand why people don't bother with these seams. Um, I think the fact that it's there, what do you call it, like stepped, that when you glue them together, they've got a bit of a step between it, so I think it's just making it harder. And uh, I thought I had them, but you know, they ghosted, they came back, and I figured I've gone this far, if it was that point. Um, you know, having a ghosted seam there, so I'm going to try once again to get rid of it. So that was sort of in the, I primed it and painted it black, and then, while well, I primed it and I saw the ghosted seam, I thought, oh, we'll paint it black, see what happens, and it was still there. So, <laughs> that's in the uh, painted black stage. Um, which, probably okay, because I forgot to make a hole here for the switch. There's got to be a switch on one side for the sound and a switch on the other side to turn you on and off. So I guess that'll give me a chance to do that before I put the final coat on it. But anyway, enough rambling. That's, uh, that's it for today's work. I think uh, the electronics is still driving me crazy so I don't know what's going on with that. I must take a different approach. I don't know. I just sort of put it aside for the moment. Um, and there's this piece actually. That's also, which still needs to be painted uh, metallic grey. I have to have a look. It says inside here, but I'm not sure if it's the hole inside of this area. I have to. I can't really get a good reference shot. But anyway, yeah. So that still needs to be done. Um, the whole head section, brain section. That's um, there's a lot of work involved in that, especially with the electronics. A lot of modifying, so I just need to think about that a bit more. So I've sort of left that to last. Try try assemble the rest of it first and make it look like I've got some progress done. But anyway, that's it for today's one, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.